Hi, everyone. Welcome again to Ivy English. I'm Bruce. I'm Angela. And I'm Wesley. Today we have for you an article, and we have a few questions too, so pay attention. <laughs> Our title is WHO Calls for Ban on Sale of Wild Animals. 我们的中文标题是世卫预各国停售活体野生哺乳动物。好，那英文的标题呢 ？WHO 大家都知道，就是世卫组织啊。Calls for 就是呼吁 ，ban 就是禁止啊。禁止什么 ？Sale of wild animals， 禁止贩售野生动物。Okay, I'll read through the article first, and of course, after that, we go through it sentence by sentence. And at the very end of the program, we have three questions for you. In April, the World Health Organization, along with the World Organization for Animal Health and the UN Environment Programme, urged countries to suspend the sale of live animals from the wild in food markets. The recommendation was considered an emergency measure to prevent the outbreak of diseases. The WHO noted that. Wild animals are a leading source of emerging infectious diseases, like the one responsible for the present coronavirus pandemic. When offering its guidelines, the United Nations Health Agency said that animals are the source of more than seventy percent of all emerging infectious diseases in humans, many of which are caused by novel viruses. The WHO also mentioned the risk of zoonotic diseases, which may result from people coming into contact with the bodily fluids of an infected animal. They also explained that there is a heightened risk of picking up diseases at places where wild animals are housed. The WHO noted in its statement. That it recognizes many people around the globe are dependent on wet markets for food as well as livelihoods. However, it argued that a ban on the sale of wild animals will protect people's health and will be a positive step in the long run. The origins of the COVID-19 coronavirus have been a source of intense speculation. Since the start of the pandemic, some epidemiologists believe that this particular strain came from bats and was passed to humans through an intermediary species. It is assumed that this jump to humans occurred when an animal from the wild was brought to a Wuhan wet market to be sold as food or for use in traditional medicine. So in April, the World Health Organization, or WHO, along with the World Organization for Animal Health, which is, I guess, the WOAH, and the UN Environment Program, which is the UNEP. Mm -hmm. <laughs> um, um, what do you call these things? Acronyms are fun because the rule is when it can spell something. Into a, like a, a word-like sound, then we try to make it into word-like sounds, like acquired immune deficiency syndrome (AIDS). We say AIDS, not AIDS. However, the World Health Organization (WHO) turns into WHO, which, if you actually start using it as the word it sounds like, it makes everything very confusing because it sounds like you're asking questions: Who did the thing? Well, who did the thing? No, who did the thing? You know, <laughs> so we say WHO, even though it can be pronounced as a word. We don't do it in order to save everyone's sanity. So, <laughs> going back to our sentence, these three organizations urged countries to suspend the sale of live animals. If you urge someone to do something, you strongly, strongly recommend them to do it. To do what? To suspend the sale. To stop selling live animals. To suspend is to. Stop temporarily or probably permanently, and the reason what they want them to stop is the sale of live animals from the wild in food markets. They're not saying stop selling live chickens or domesticated animals in food markets. They want wild animals to not be sold in food markets anymore, and that is a very important distinction. 
OK， 好，我们看到这个地方在讲四月的时候呢，这个世界卫生组织啊 ，along with 就是呃随着 together with 还有其他两个组织啊，一个是世界动物卫生组织啊，还有一个是联呃联合国环境规划署啊，这三个组织呢 urged 啊就是敦促啊，那通常 urged some 呃 urge someone to do something， 那他这里 urge someone 就是 countries， 他们敦促这些国家去做什么事呢？要 Suspend, suspend 是终止或者是暂停的意思啊，所以常常讲的呃，某人 is suspended from duty 啊，就是他停职啊。通常我们就后面就会想说，后面通常就是接这个 pending the outcome of the investigation 啊，这常常在一起的啊。所以某人 is suspended from duty， 那 pending the outcome of the investigation， pending 啊 ，p e n d i n g 啊，就是他被停职的，然后呢？要看调查的结果，才能决定他能不能复职啊。所以是，所以呢 ，suspend 就是终止或者暂停。所以他们呼吁大家，要求大家啊，要终止 the sale of 就是贩卖，终止贩卖 live animals from the wild， 贩卖活体动物叫做 live animals。然后呢 ，from the wild 不只是活体动物，而且是来自野外的，也就是野生的活体动物。好，那在哪里禁止贩卖呢？在 food markets， 在食物的市场里面，好，禁止大家贩卖这种东西。所以野野外的很重要，因为如果是大家这个圈养的，就比较没有关系。但野外的话，问题就比较多。The recommendation was considered an emergency measure to prevent the outbreak of diseases. Now remember, this is a recommendation. The WHO cannot make a law. The United Nations does not have the power to make laws for its member countries or any countries that are not members. So it's simply a recommendation. But they said it's an emergency measure.、Uh, if if nations adopt this measure, if they accept this measure, that may prevent the outbreak of diseases, which we will explain in a moment. Uh, outbreak means that something is out of control. A disease starts and then spreads very, very quickly. That's an outbreak. 好，所以这里呢，他讲 the recommendation 哈 ，recommendation 就是建议啊，因为他们只能提出建议啊。这样的一个建议呢 ，was considered 被认为是一个 emergency measure， 一个紧急的措施哈、啊。Measure 就是一个措施。啊，你要达到某一个目的所采取的一个措施叫做 measure。那这是一个 emergency measure， 是一个紧急措施，目的是要干嘛呢？要 to prevent， 要避免 the outbreak of diseases， 避免疾病的爆发。哈、啊、，outbreak 常常用来指疾病或者战争的爆发，通常不是好事情。So the WHO noted or pointed out that wild animals are a leading source of emerging infectious diseases. If you're a leading source, that means you're the best and most powerful source, and normally this is a positive thing. However, if you are the leading source of emerging infectious diseases, you should probably rethink your life.、Um, and the disease, like the one responsible for the present coronavirus pandemic, emerging means it's coming out. Infectious means it spreads very easily, and disease means it makes people sick. Ah,、uh, so infectious. Disease 就是指会传染的病，也就是传染性的疾病。好，我们来看看这个句子开头。他说：“这个 WHO 呢 ，noted 他指出啊 ，noted that wild animals 就是野生动物 are a leading source 啊，它是一个这个诶、哎、一个 leading 在这里啊，其实是形容词哈、啊，它是 the、uh, the most important 的意思 ，foremost 啊，或者是 chief 或者是 principal 就主要的意思啦。”所以它是形容词啊，所以它这个 a leading source， 它是一个这个主要的来源啊。什么东西主要的来源呢 ？Of emerging， 就是我们把它翻成新兴的。Emerging 本来就是它慢慢现在浮现当中，哈 ，becoming apparent 啊，慢慢的或者是 becoming prominent 啊，它越来越显著了。那但是它跟疾病放在一起的时候，通常我们就是翻成新兴的疾病啊，所以。它是一个最近刚刚兴起的新兴的一个传染性疾病的一个重要的来源。那 like the one 啊，那这里例如什么样的新兴疾病呢？新兴的传染疾病呢 ？The one responsible for 啊。
就是主要要负责的，也是是主要原因的。什么东西的主要原因呢 ？The one responsible for 啊 ，the present 就是 current 目前的这个 coronavirus pandemic 啊，这呃冠状的病毒的这一个大流行啊，要为这个冠状病毒大流行要负责的这一个新兴的传染性疾病啊，所以这句话意思就是，他们认为野生动物是主要的来源。When offering its guidelines, notice here we use guidelines. These are not recommendations. Well, they are recommendations. They're not laws. The United Nations Health Agency, that is the WHO we've been talking about, said that animals are the source of more than seventy percent, a little better than two out of three of all emerging infectious diseases in humans come from animals. Um, I, they don't come from plants、uh, or the air or the water.、Uh, they come from animals,、uh, many of which are caused by novel viruses. This is a recent term, at least for people like me who don't study medicine.、Uh, novel means new, a new kind of virus.、Uh, although we have、uh, another word further down the list here, talking about zoonotic. Viruses that、uh, start in animals and then go to another animal. Some animals can infect other animals. Some animals can infect people. Hmm.、Mm-hmm. 好，所以呢，我们自己看到他说，好 ，when offering， 当他提供他的 guidelines， 他的指导方针的时候呢，这个 the United Nations Health Agency 啊，这个地方 the United Nations Health Agency 指的就是 WHO 啊，那。所以 WHO 呢 said that 他们说啊，这个 animals 就是动物 are the source of 是什么的来源呢？是超过 70% 的啊，什么东西的来源？ 7 0的。好，这个 emerging 就上一句上一段讲的 emerging infectious diseases 这些新兴的具有传染性的疾病啊 ，in humans 在人体或者跟人有关的人类的这个新兴传染疾病里面呢。有百分之七十的来源是 animals 啊，所以这句话英文就是这样讲 ：Animals are the source of more than seventy percent of all emerging infectious diseases in humans. 然后呢，接下来讲 many of which， 这 which 就是指这个人人类的这些新兴的传染疾病啊。那这些疾病里面呢，有很多是 are caused by 是由什么所造成的呢？由 novel。Viruses, novel 在这里呢是新的的意思啊。它其实强调是 of a kind not seen before， 以前没见过的啊。它本来可以指新奇的，但在这里其实就是一个它从从所未见的啊。这种这些 viruses 我们以前都没看到过啊。像我小时候从来没听到这些，没有从来没有听过这些 viruses。好，那现在呢，这些 virus 都已经出现了，而且成为一个新兴的这个呃传染性疾病的原因。The WHO also mentioned the risk of zoonotic diseases, which may result from people coming into contact with the bodily fluids of an infected animal. What's a zoonotic disease, and how is it different from a virus? It's simply that these are bacteria and pathogens, as opposed to viruses. So it's just a different disease vector, and it cut. And these diseases don't usually、um, get transmitted in an airborne way. They usually Get transmitted by coming into contact with, by actually touching bodily fluids, blood, saliva, pee or poo of an infected animal. Hmm. 好，这个 zoonotic 就是指人畜共通的。我想大家都很了解人畜共通的一些病，就说这个病呢，人畜人畜之间会相互传染的，而且通常是经过接触传染啊。所以他说，这个 WHO 他也怎么样 mentioned， 他也提到了 the risk of 就是什么东西的风险啊，就是人畜共通疾病的风险 ，which may result from 啊，那这些人畜共通的疾病呢 ，which 就指这些人人畜共通的疾病可能会来自哪里呢？原因可能是什么呢？可能是 people coming into contact with， 就是人们。开始通接触到了啊，这 coming 是个分词啊，用来修饰 people 啊 ，people 这些人是怎么样呢？这些人是 coming into contact with， 他们接触到了 the body 呃、uh, bodily fluids， 就是指体液啊 ，of an infected animal infected 受到感染的，所以他们如果接触到受到感染的动物的体液的话。
他们我们人也会得病啊，因为有的时候我们会觉得啊，这个是动物才会得的病哦，人不会，但是有一些病是人畜共通的。They also explain that there is a heightened risk of picking up diseases at places where wild animals are housed. They refers to the WHO. They further noted that there is a heightened risk. There's a greater chance of Picking up diseases of becoming infected at places、uh, where wild animals are housed. That means if someone catches a wild animal and puts it in a cage, that cage is the, the house of the animal until it is sold or、uh, killed and sold. So.、Uh, These wet markets are、uh, perfect places for these diseases to enter and then spread、uh, from animal to animal and from animal to people. Hey, 好，所以这个讲到说 ，they also explained that 他们也解释 ，there is a heightened risk of heightened 在这里就是增加的啊，所以而且通常是不正常的增加啊，所以这个风险是增加的。叫做 there is a heightened risk of， 所以什么东西的风险是增加的呢？就是 of 的受词 ，picking up 就是染上什么疾病 ，diseases， 所以染上疾病的风险是增加的，而且是显著增加的啊。那在哪里染上疾病呢？啊，就是指这些传染性疾病了哈。在哪里染上的呢 ？At places， 啊，在这些地方怎么样 ？Where wild animals are housed。那这个 house 的这个字呢，本来是圈养的意思啊，但在这里呢，其实是关起来哈，就是他可能抓到野生动物，在卖它卖卖掉之前，他找个地方把它关起来。那这种地方呢，其实是你很容易让你得到这些传染疾病的。The who noted? The WHO noted? <笑> the who? Are we talking about the rock band here? The WHO noted in its statement that it recognizes. It knows that many people around the world are dependent on wet markets for food as well as livelihoods. So they know that everyone goes to traditional markets—not everyone, but a good many people—and they go there to buy food and they go there to sell food and make money. Hmm. Ah,、uh, so WHO noted in its statement, it in its statement, it in its statement, it in its statement. 他 recognizes recognize 在这里不是认得的意思，他这里是了解或者知道的意思啊。To accept or be aware of a fact 啊，所以他知道这件事实。什么事情呢？他知道说很多人 around the globe， 全世界有很多人呢 are dependent on 就是依赖 wet markets 传统市场啊。Wet markets 就是传统市场。我觉得这个名词取得很很有趣哈，因为传统市场地上常常是湿的，好，所以 wet markets。啊，不知道是不是原因呢？但是可以帮各位记得啊。你也可以说 traditional market 啊。所以呢，他在这种传统市场呢，啊，很多人呢，他们是怎么样？是依靠这个传统市场啊。就很多人，全世界很多人是依靠传统市场 for food。你要去那里买东西来吃啊。As well as 也同时怎么样 ？Livelihoods 啊，他你的生计也要靠传统市场啊。Livelihood 其实就是我们讲的生计啊 ，a means of supporting。One's existence. Ah,、uh. let's continue. However, it argued that a ban on the sale of wild animals will protect people's health and will be a positive step in the long run. However, notice here. Well, it first of all is the WHO. Notice how we have argued here, and we talked about guidelines above and originally recommendations. The WHO cannot order any country to do anything. It can only、uh, do research and、um, sometimes provide money for its policies to be carried out. And many people say, "Yeah, but、uh, what's wrong?、Uh, people kill animals all over the world. Why can't we kill them、uh, in the jungles or forests and then sell them?" But a ban on the sale of wild animals. Will protect people's health. This is the WHO's argument.、Uh, yes,、uh, we have domesticated animals, and most of them are not、uh, sick most of the time. But if you go into the jungle or forest and kill animals, that can,、uh, because of these zoonotic diseases, can、uh, hurt people.、Uh, by not doing it, you protect people's health. 
and it will be a positive step in the long run. Eventually, it will make sense and、uh, improve human health around the world. 好，那我们看一下，他说这个呃，然而 ，it 就是指这个 WHO 哈 ，argue that 用 argue 这个字表示他他主张哈，换句话说，有人可能不同意，但是他必须要这样，他他这样子主张啊，他认为这样子，他认为呢 ，a ban on the sale of wild animals 啊，就是禁止销售这些野生动物呢，可以 protect people's health， 可以保护人们的健康。而且呢，会是一个 positive step， 是一个正面的、有好处的一个步骤，一个 step。In the long run 是什么样？是说 in the end， 长久、长远来看啊。你现在看可能觉得说，哎呀，这样子我们这样怎么怎么过日子啊？怎样怎样怎样？没有好吃、没有好吃的野味可以吃啦。但是长久来看，这是一个 positive step。So the origins of the COVID nineteen coronavirus have been a source of intense speculation, to put it mildly. Since the start of the pandemic, intense means very, very emotionally invested, and speculation means、um, thinking of, like making theories about what might be true. So everyone has been talking about how it started because honestly, it's affected the entire world,、mm. and so we all want to know how it started. And in the absence of verifiable, true information, no one really knows. So everyone is making up their theories. Intense.、Uh, one of my favorite synonyms for this is heated. Heated.、Mm. They had a heated argument.、Right. They had、mm-hmm. an intense argument. Heated sounds so genteel. <laughs> <laughs> But do you say heated speculation? You wow wow! I like the sound of that. Is that a common collocation? No. no. Is that a possible collocation? Yes. yes. Is、oh. that a collocation we should use more? Yes. yes. Okay. <laughs> Good. <laughs> 好，所以呢，这个地方呢，啊，这个，哎，我们刚刚谈到，就是它这里有一个 intense speculation 啊，这蛮好的一个 collocation， 就是很很激烈的啊，而且感觉起来是很强烈的，就大家。讲的时候都非常的激动啊，因为他认为我认为就是这样这样哈。<笑>那一个 intense speculation 是推测或者猜测。那 Bruce 啊就说呢，他有一个他喜欢一个字跟着 intense 很像，就是 heated 啊。我们常常讲 heated discussion 或者 heated debate， 就是很激烈的啊这个呃讨论。那我刚刚就请教呃两位老师说，我们可不可以说 heated speculation 啊？那这个呃我们得到结论就是这个 collocation 不。不是那么常见，但是其实是个很好的 collocation 啊 ，heated speculation 啊，所以大家可以学一学啊。那在这里 ，heated speculation 跟 intense speculation 意思差不多。所以我们看到这个句子，他说这个 COVID 1 9它的这个呃这种冠状病毒呢，它的 origins 它的来源呢 ，have been a source of intense speculation。这个这一句英文大家可以学起来，就是关于它的来源呢，大家吵得不可开交，或者是大家都觉得，呃，就是大家都一直要去。想要找出来它到底哪里来的啊？因为其实这个病毒它改变的整个世界，而且我觉得它会改变世界的文明啊。嗯啊，它会有很大很大的改变，对整个世界会有很大的改变啊。所以大家都想要知道这东西到底跑哪里跑出来的啊？好，那 since the start of the pandemic， 从这个流行病一开始的时候，大家就开始想说这东西到底哪里来的啊？这么厉害，然后把 change the way of life 啊，这个我。Our way of life, yeah. 我们的人生怎么过，它完全都改变了。好，所以大家都要看它到底哪里来的。Okay, continuing. Some epidemiologists believe epidemiology is the study of diseases, especially those which break out. Remember, we had outbreak. They break out and and they spread around very quickly, and sometimes over a very very large area, maybe the whole world. Uh, epidemic refers more to the event of this happening, the breakout that happens. If it happens over a very large area, then we say pandemic.、Uh, in colloquial English, people use them interchangeably, but there is that bit of difference. The epidemiologists believe that this particular strain, the COVID nineteen, came from bats and was passed to humans. That means humans became infected. Th- By、uh, the bats, but not directly necessarily, but through an intermediary species. So it went from bat to animal X, and from animal X into humans. Hmm. So there are some 
epidemiologist， 就是流行病学家。哈、哦，有一些流行有，各位注意是有一些哈、哦，不是所有的，有一些流行病学家认为说 believe 认为。This particular strain, 这个特定的这个病毒株，哈，就是这个呃 ，COVID nineteen， 好是怎么样 ？Came from bats， 来自于蝙蝠，然后 was passed 呃、uh, passed to humans， 然后被传染给人。透过什么传染呢 ？Through an intermediary， 就是一个中介的 species 物种，所以是透过一个中介的物种传给人的。So it is assumed people understand that, or we've decided. Collectively, that this jump to humans occurred when an animal from a wild was brought to a Wuhan wet market to be sold as food or for use in traditional medicine. So we've all decided this that it's true, but we actually don't know if that's true still.、Mm. Yeah, that's right. Yeah, jump 就是 a sudden or major transition 啊，突然之间这样这个重大的一个转移哈，从这个蝙蝠就。转移到人的身上去了，或或者从这个呃中介的动物物种就转到人身上去了。那 it is assumed that 大家都认为呢，这样的一个 jump 啊，这样对转移到传到人的身上呢 ，occurred 发生什么时候发生的呢？当 an wild、uh, an animal from the wild 当从野外来的一只动物呢 ，was brought to 被带到一个武汉的这个传统市场，好 to be sold as food 啊，在那边要当做食物来卖。或者是 for use in traditional medicine， 或者是到那边要用来做传统的这个药材，哈，这个时候呢，就发生了这样的一个 jump。Okay, we have a few questions. The first of which is, why is the UN Environment Program mentioned in the passage? 为什么本文当中提到联合国环境规划署呢？ The best answer is B. They support the WHO's suggestions. 答案是 B. 他们支持世卫组织的建议。And number two, what does the word livelihoods most likely mean in paragraph three? 好，那第三段里面 livelihood 这个呃、uh, hoods 啊，这个最可能什么意思呢 ？The answer is C. Income. 答案是 C. 收入。Number three, why is the WHO calling on countries? To stop the sale of live animals at markets, 世卫组织为什么会呼吁各国停止在市场上面出售活体动物呢 ？And of course, the answer is D. To prevent people from contracting animal-borne diseases. 答案是 D. 为了防止人们感染动物传播的疾病。That's it for today's program. Thanks for joining us, and、uh, we're right here whenever you need us. So till the next time. Bye bye.